Eye on Health, brought to you by Tallahassee Memorial Healthcare. One in 10 babies born in the U.S. will spend time in a neonatal intensive care unit, or NICU, before they're ready to go home. But many parents won't know if their child is in that 10% until they arrive. Tallahassee Memorial is home to the region's only level three NICU and also level two. So your baby is in good hands no matter what happens. Monica Tucker is here to tell us more. Monica, which babies need to go to a NICU? Uh, well, that can depend on the patient, um, as with anything. So it could be for simple antibiotics and some oxygen therapy, all the way to um, life-sustaining support if it's a micropremie that needs um, ventilated care or surgery. Explain, if you would, the difference between a level two and a level three NICU. A level three NICU is a critical care, intensive care NICU. Um, that's where your babies that are born, especially early, what we call your micropremies would go. They may need to be on the ventilator, may need surgery, um, a lot more support and medication. Um, whereas a level two is for babies that are 30 weeks and above that may just need the time to grow and mature, may need some antibiotics and some slight oxygen therapy. So it's good that Tallahassee Memorial has both. Yes. Okay, now if I hear your, your baby needs to go to the NICU, panic. No, you shouldn't panic. Um, all we're trying to do is make sure that your baby is as healthy and happy as possible before you take them home. All right, so what's your best advice for people who are looking for a hospital to give birth? My best advice, especially if you're expecting a baby that's less than term, um, is to go to a hospital that has a level three NICU so that you have that peace of mind. Great advice, thank you so much. Thank you. To learn more about Tallahassee Memorial's NICU, please visit tmh.org slash NICU.